Hey painters, it's Julie Norcus again for another tutorial that goes along with the painting kits that I sell on my website, www.julienorcus.com. Today I am coming to you with a sports uh, themed tutorial and I am going to be painting the jersey not the helmet because they're basically the same technique. We're using the same paints, although you would probably want to be um, adding some detail colors to coordinate with whatever team you play for or your favorite baseball team or football team or something like that. Um, you can coordinate the jersey with your name on the back or a favorite player. Uh, so these are meant to be just kind of a general color scheme, gray, black, brown and then I would think that you would want to um, when you order these kits from me as I've done before is say hey can you give me some blue so that I can um, make the jersey coordinate with my team's colors or my helmet or whatever um, so the general um, jersey and helmet are basic enough that you can customize it and you'll get the gray the black the brown to be able to complete this but when ordering I tell people please shoot me a note send me an email um, let me know if you want another couple colors to coordinate it for your team um, again sports themed I'm doing only the jersey and these videos coincide with the painting kits that I sell on my website so let's get started. Um, you get everything that you need to complete the canvas, which is uh, the canvas that has the um, image sketched on there. So you'll get that. You'll get the paint. You will get um, a brush, although I tell people to Please, please, please pull out your kids' brushes or your craft brushes, or maybe you have brushes from another painting tutorial. Um, I include a flat brush, but you may want to pull out a round, thinner scripting brush. You may want something wider for what I'm doing now, but by all means, the brush I include will, um, will surely get the job done. Uh, what else did I want to say? Sometimes I say water the paint down a little bit. Uh, the last tutorial I was doing, we watered down the paint for the flowers. Um, it kind of depends on your preference. This one I'm thinking we probably don't want to do too much watering down. Um, Cause I, you know, I, I can, a flower is one thing to get some shading, highlighting, but this jersey or this helmet on the sample, I did do two coats on it. Um, I am thinking that this is going to probably be good with one coat because this is a little bit of a darker gray for the tutorial that I'm doing. I mixed up a batch of gray right before I came on here and it seems to be a little bit darker but that's fine. Uh, make sure that you have a blotting paper towel or a napkin which I'll include in the kit as well so that you can blot off any excess water or any excess paint and just follow follow my lines. It's, it's as easy as that. Some people will be having their kids painting these. Maybe it's a project a couple teammates are doing together. Maybe your kids are doing it. Uh, this jersey could also be used for a soccer jersey. I guess you could probably use it for a football jersey as well. Um, my thought was the baseball theme, but I think it could be used for, for either one. Uh, I'm not doing the helmet, like I said, because you're basically doing the same technique. You're painting the image, again, that's provided on the white canvas. 
follow the lines. Don't get too gloppy. Try to, if you are putting the paint on full strength, do not let any blobs sit because first of all, it'll be uneven. Secondly, it will take forever to dry and it'll just look better if you can kind of brush out those brush out those blobs of paint. All right, I went kind of fast on this because I desperately try not to have these tutorials go tutorials go too long because it takes forever um, to have my to have them upload to YouTube. So I'm kind of whizzing along here. I'm gonna use the um, hit it with the hair dryer to do some drying. So let's um, hang tight here for a minute. So I dried it and you can see that some of the canvas is showing through so we're probably just going to go in and want to touch that up with a little bit more of the gray paint. You can also see that this paint that I mixed up is considerably darker than the original but um, I would be including in your kit the lighter gray. I think it's easier to coordinate some colors with that so um, don't mind this dark that I'm painting on. Just, just know that you'll get what these samples are in addition to if you want to message me and request another color for your team colors or a favorite team, not necessarily your team. And again, it could be a soccer team. Um, obviously the football helmet is definitely geared toward football. Uh, let's move on to the bat. Okay, you will get brown, of course. So let's um, let's do the bat. The bat, I am going to water down my color a little bit because I think it creates what I would call like a wood grain texture. You can see right in here as you move the paint along. I don't know. Let's uh, get some of that paint off the brush. Hard to paint vertical here, but um, watering down that paint just ever so much um, kind of creates a, a wood graining, a, a little bit of depth and highlight. <clears throat> All right. If you are super detailed and want to use a ruler for some of these straight edges, for instance, on the bat, feel free. Um, I probably would have taken a little more time to make these straight if I weren't doing this tutorial and if I weren't painting up and down holding it in one hand. But it gives you the general idea. What I wanted to show you on this is the fact that um, by watering, woo, by watering down this paint, it does give you kind of that graining effect. And you can kind of and some and some shading. You can kind of work that paint around, around there. Just don't hold it up and down, or it starts running. All right. Uh, while the bat is drying, let's move on to the paint pen conversation, which I have in every tutorial. Which is this? All right, paint pens. I love them. Love them. Love them. Um, it is something that when you buy the kit, I say is not included because they, 
my paint pens are, um, I don't know, they're kind of pricey for a one, a one off project. Um, I buy them on um, Amazon or Michaels. I, I use Unipasca. They're a shakeable, they're paint, actual paint pen. So it's, you know, it's like a spray pan. Um, and then you have to depress the end and it pulls the ink out. Uh, if you don't have paint pens around, which I assume many people probably don't, Sharpies work just as good. Just do not use a marker that is washable. Make sure it's a permanent marker. I use these for a lot of lettering, as you can see, a lot of outlining, um, but to include one in this kit when not every kit uses them and they're kind of pricey would just, I think, maybe make the kit something that isn't attainable for some people that don't want to go to that extent and they would just want to maybe use a Sharpie. So I have a variety of paint pens and I'm going to use, um, I guess to me it looks, it's to you it looks like a fine tip, but I do have a, one that's finer than this. So I would maybe call this comparable to a um, fine point Sharpie possibly. Yeah, I would say a fine point Sharpie. And um, again, you'll get this canvas. It'll have the words already on there. So you'll want to take your paint pen or your Sharpie and just follow the lines. It is so simple. Okay. It does take a little bit to dry. Don't run your hand across it immediately. Just like any marker, it's going to take a little bit to dry. Um, you can take, you know, hit it with a hair dryer, walk away, get a snack, get a glass of wine, get a cup of coffee, get a snack, have your kids go outside and play. I guess you probably don't need that much time, but just, you know, a couple minutes here of drying. Um, and the other thing, the other thing I'm thinking is, um, y'all probably don't have circle templates around, but I'm gonna hit this with a um, circle template template for the baseball. You could use a cup. You could use a, a, tup, a little Tupperware lid, anything circular, bottom of a glass. Um, the circle will be drawn on there for you, of course. The lines um, drawn on for the baseball, you just have to trace this around. It's that simple. Um, I didn't even put any white paint in it on the sample here. It's just the white canvas. All right, uh, let's see. Let's, let's go back to these letters because this is what will make them look a little more custom. So you can still use your fine medium tip or you if you have a thicker Sharpie, if you do have the thicker uh, Unipasca or other paint pens, um, we're just gonna go through and we're going to um, thicken up the down strokes and fill in these letters. You will have it drawn out this way for you. You can see I'm kind of flaring out the top. You probably can't see on the um, video that the lines are there for you. So it's as easy as just following the lines and filling them in. But you can see what a big difference this makes in the font. It's not just stick figure letters. Okay, so there you have that. So paint pen marker is kind of critical to this particular project, um, Sharpie or whatever you want to use. Let's go back. Well, actually, I'm not going to put another, I'm not going to tidy up these gray lines because you get the point that um, depending on how detail oriented you are, you may not be able to see it, but you can um, notice a little bit of the canvas shine, uh, coming, bleeding through. So if I had more time, um, I would, in doing this project, go through and add another coat of gray or whatever color it is that you're going to ask me to maybe send you in place of the gray. The bat is still drying. We're going to finish up some details on the baseball in a little bit. So let's go back to the canvas and we're going to grab our... Uh, fine to medium point Sharpie again, and then you're just going to look at your um, sample, which you will have a picture of attached to your painting kit. So even though we have since painted over the lines that were there, you're going to be able to pretty easily just go through here and follow it around 
and outline it. And again, I'm doing it a little quick for time purposes, so probably not as clean as I'd like it to be, but you get the point. Follow this one all the way from the shoulder down. run my hand over that wet bat so I'm gonna flip it around here put some little cuffs on put a collar do the bottom maybe a bottom seam okay again it's not as tidy as I'd like it to be, but I'm standing up doing this, so um, give me some grace here, people. All right, let's touch up this a little bit. All right. I also have a red paint pen. It could also be a red Sharpie. It could be anything red you have that isn't gonna smear. It could be red paint. More than likely, I'm not going to give you red paint just to do a few little lines. Um, so, again, you're going to put your little seams onto the ball. Super easy with the marker. So, honestly, even if I did give you some red paint, you're going to be much happier using a marker. Um, again, think of a baseball. Look at, that just adds, just makes it, that makes it the baseball and not a circle. All right. The bat is still a little, still a little wet. So I'm gonna hit the hair dryer to it. So hang tight. see a couple options here I want to mention at this point you may want to put stripes on your jersey you may want to get out your ruler and stripe it up you may want to put your name a favorite player's name so that is something that you're probably going to want to get a piece of chalk Everyone has chalk. Just do a little, a little curve. Put your number on the back. Okay. Take your time, chalk it out. Then take your paint pen. And do the same thing as the play ball. You may even have a stencil at home, a little tiny one with letters. Okay, again, down strokes to make the number a little more dimensional. This one seems to be getting stuck in the chalk. Uh, you get the point. So um, that's the way to personalize it. If you are so completely unsure how to personalize your jersey, let me know. Maybe I can include a little transfer for you to put that on the back of your jersey. But that is as easy as PZ gets. Okay? Um... Maybe you're super artistic and you wanna, you know, do a different feel font on your, uh, on the name. All right. Give the bat some dimension. Up the side, underneath. And that is about it for that. 
uh, let's say you wanted the jersey red, you might need a couple more coats because red over white is um, going to take you longer to cover that white canvas. Maybe you want to do um, a super light gray and add some of your team color to it. Do your name in a different color if you've got a, a marker that would work for that. It's pretty um, easy to personalize it. And the same thing goes then for this touchdown. You'll get the image drawn of the helmet. You'll get the words drawn, the football drawn. Everything will be penciled out on here. You'll paint it gray, just like we did the jersey. All of this will be outlined, and you'll need your um, either black paint and your brush to detail this all out. After the gray is dry, you'll go back in and do a little bit more. Same thing with the brown. Add some of your white. Customize your helmet. All right, so that is play ball and touchdown. Completely personalized. Um, to your liking when you order it. Let me know if you want different colors. And the kits are available on www.julienorcus.com. You get everything you need except for those, um, those markers. And you know, you might want another paintbrush that you've got laying around. Everyone has paintbrushes. I do include one. But to keep the price of the kit down, um, which you'll find the uh, kit prices online, um, I include one brush. Every, everything except for that paint pen um, and you might want one more brush but you get a paint cup a palette um, a water cup I should say paintbrush paint the canvas with the image drawn access to the tutorial and you're good to go so thanks for tuning in have fun painting and let art fuel your life people